Hi and welcome to Makeup Mugwump. My name is Leanne. Thank you so much for joining me. It's Saturday here. Don't even ask. She's literally... <gasps> Get your little tiny scrawny butt. Nope. Anyway, she might come. She may go. For those of you who are new here, welcome. <laughs> I have a dog that's a jerk. <laughs> and she doesn't stay very long. <gasps> You see the flash? That was her. All right. Welcome to the weekend. I um wanted to do a, a, a face of makeup that I haven't tried before. And I don't have an entire full face, but we're coming pretty close to that. So I've got some, some exciting things that uh, I've, I have kind of squirreled away in my makeup to try drawer. And um, some things are older. Some things came in boxes. Some things are like foil pack. We'll see. You know, we'll do this. So um, let's get started. I've got um, my skincare all done and all that jazz. But this is, I don't even know what, what EVO Beauty. This is the Porefect Primer, Porefect Base. It says matte finish. It's got a little, i got to get the foil off. Oh man, that's on there tight. Okay, hold on now. Oh my gosh, we are starting out with a bang today looking for the tweezers already yes. i just snapped the tag off that helps me pull it off oh my god <gasps> is this why it was in the subscription boxes nobody can get in it okay we sort of ripped a hole in the foil <laughs> Welcome to Makeup Mugwump. We can't even open a product. I think that'll be good enough. We'll, we'll go with that. Oh my goodness. How dreadful that thing was. Okay, so I don't know. Is there anything in there? I don't even know. Okay, let's see what kind of. Okay, it's like a white. Oh, sort of feels like lotion, right? So we're going to do a little. Yeah, it's like lotion. Okay. Okay. I ain't mad at it. Oh, it kind of gets the, no kind of, it gets tackier. Yes. that <laughs> much tackier okay so there's that I, this came in a box definitely I don't know how long ago maybe not much time has passed but I also want to put this on oh, this is the Josie Marin Argon Enlightenment Illuminizer oh, I'm sorry uh, this look I'm so excited about this let me find my scissors hold on we're gonna, we're gonna break in okay so it looks like it's probably a champagne color. I'm gonna put this on underneath the foundation. Why? Cause I wanna glow like a crazy person. Okay. It's a, it is, it's like a goldy. I say gold, but not like super gold. It's more champagne. <gasps> oh, I'm gonna glow like a crazy person. Oh my gosh, that is beautiful. A slight scent to this, not much. The other, the other primer had no fragrance that I could smell. Look at me. <laughs> okay, I'm super excited. <laughs> Why wouldn't I be? Okay, now, oh, I'm, oh, I've got it everywhere. No, I'm sorry, Joseph. Okay, we're gonna. We're gonna like stand you up right. Oh, it's still coming out. Okay, what do we do? If I still had my Tatcha Silk Canvas Primer container, I could tell you what I would do. Oh, we're gonna stand you up right here and hope you don't get everywhere. Okay. 
I want to be able to use her tomorrow too. Okay, that is good. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Look at her. Look at her. Okay, let's do. I'm sorry, I'm making a noise. Let's. This came in our like, I don't know, we got like some sort of Ulta foundation pack. This is the Stila Tinted Moisturizer Skin Balm. Clean multi-use skincare and makeup product blend. Undetectable lightweight silky balm. Fortified with natural extracts, vitamins, and antioxidants. Buildable from sheer to medium coverage with a natural sheen. Sheer to medium coverage. Me. Okay, so I've got the whole little foil packet here. So we might, we might get crazy. Okay, this is uh, the lightest one is shade 2.0. That'll be the one we use. And then we'll go from there. So let's see if we can't get her undone here without, you know, I have the moisturizer on my hands. This is a terrible thing. Tweezers just stay out today. It's just, it's one of your days, you know? Y'all, I need a young priest and an old priest here. All right, we got it off. Okay. So it's oddly, let's see, what does it feel like? It feels like a balm. Okay. Okay. All right, so I, got, I grabbed my Sephora 56, which is a foundation brush, and I thought it would be small enough to get in. And it kind of is. Okay. So I have a couple of foundation balms in my life. The Honest Beauty one, like a cream, you know, con compact balm. Are we doing anything here? And I like that one for a drugstore one. My favorite one is the Kevin Aqua foundation balm. And it's amazing. I mean, I see I'm doing a little bit. I ain't doing much here. They weren't kidding. This is sheer, y'all. Should we like just get it on first? Is that like, what are we doing here? It may not be great because it's such a small little patty of product, you know? That may be part of the problem. Is I'm having trouble getting it out. Yeah, this is sheer, y'all, for, for sure. This is sheer. Hmm. I mean, I love a full face, I mean, a full coverage, but I do like, you know, sheer, if it, I say sheer, but light, maybe light is the better word for what I like. Um, I like some coverage, y'all. I do. But this says it's buildable to medium, but everybody says everything's buildable and they may not mean it. That's not bad. It ain't terrible. What do we think? What do we think? I think it's sheer beyond all sheer. I don't I don't see the building. Let's tap instead, maybe. <laughs> Is this gonna be the world's lightest coverage day? Maybe. Maybe it will. Not a fan. I mean, I've like 
gone ham in here and I'm really I'm not seeing much anybody tried this the Stila skin balm anybody even seen anybody try this because I ain't tiny downstairs barking her head off I don't know why Okay, so what we've got here <laughs> is sheer, <laughs> but, and I don't know what, how much of this is the Josie Marin underneath, that it is a really pretty shine, really pretty dew um, on my face, but I, again, that's, that's, I was that way before I put on the skin balm, but it didn't, you know, mattify it down and cover it all up and all that jazz, so there's that. Um, I don't know, I'm not. This is, I am not like, let's buy this. Um, let's try the, the darkest shade and let's see if we can't, let's maybe Q-tip it. Can we Q-tip some out here? Okay, all right, okay. Maybe this is what we needed to do. Hang on, we're gonna, we're gonna Q-tip this out and then we're gonna do another thing. You just hold on. Um, let me Q-tip the other side then, hold on. Can we, can we just... Maybe get some more out. Is that what the problem is? Hold on. Let's see what we can do here. Is it product amount or not? This is not one that I'm going to... I mean, unless something magical happens... This is, I'm not impressed with this. I'll tell you that right now. I don't think it's product amount. I really don't. I don't think it's product amount. Mm -mm, it's not. Okay. Well, we have the, the darker shade here on the, oh Lord, we get, oh Lord, we got too much. Heck yeah. <laughs> oh buddy. Oh my goodness. Well, <laughs> well, this is shade 8.0. <laughs> okay. Okay, well, you know, we, um, okay. Okay. This, um, Is that what is it? Should we maybe try a sponge in it? Should we maybe try a sponge? I'm, I'm not impressed, y'all. I really am not. No, I really am not. Do not recommend. It'll do for today. I ain't going nowhere. I mean, why would I? It looks like my skin almost before I started. It's, you know, we're a little bit darker around the edges up top, but it's not, this is not great. This is not great, Stila. I don't know. I mean, I understand tinted moisturizer and all, but you say buildable to medium. No, she not. Did not buildable to medium. This is not that. Okay, I'm going to stop and throw it away. <laughs> R.I.P. Stila. No, that is not, it's not for me. It's fine for today, but it's not for me. This is not, it ain't that cute. Okay, well, that was fun and I'm out. I am going to try a product. I, I, I think I can't, this got, this, my mom sent this to me. She was decluttering. This is the Wet n Wild Liquid Catsuit Cream Liquid Eyeshadow in putty in my hands like a double doe foot it seems to be maybe slightly darker than painterly paint pot you know like that kind of color um I was looking for something to blend out with okay we'll use this usually use a, like a synthetic brush for something this liquidy I'll 
go over it with my sponge in just a second. That's not bad. It's not a bad color. It is a dark, it's darker than painterly though. I can say that from years of experience. Real thin formula. It's a pretty color though. Putty in my hands. The Wet n Wild Liquid Cat Suit. That's not bad for an eye primer. Not bad. Haven't tried this before. Or tried this one before anyway. Yeah, see, it's a little it's a little bit darker than my skin tone, but not bad. Not bad at all. I don't have a new concealer. So we're just going to use Makeup Revolution. Should we? That seems to be full coverage. Maybe we shouldn't use that. Maybe we should use a different concealer. Let's go to the old concealer thing over here. How about the L'Oreal Age Perfect? Well, this was dark. Jeez, hang on. I remember now. Um, what do we got over here? Ulta Beauty Youthful Glow Concealer. Light Cool. Okay. I have no idea. Let's do one and see. Mm, let's use the concealer piece of that Real Techniques and let's see if we can't get a little bit of coverage here. I stayed up late last night reading. I read, started and finished A Court of Thorn and Roses last night by Sarah J. Moss. And uh, I'll be reading the second book today, I'm sure. Did that do anything? I don't know. Youthful glow. We're glowing today for sure. Like that's happening. We are quite glowy. That Josie Marin stuff is really pretty. Here, I'm gonna bring it down on this side because I got more pigmentation over here. <laughs> okay. Too bad, is it? I've got this spot here. I don't like it. Let me let me see here. I don't normally cover up spots, but let's let's actually grab that L'Oreal that might be a little bit too dark for under eyes. I'm gonna put the tiniest amount right there. See, it is too dark. That's that's dark for me. So let's see if we can put that right there for just a minute. Let her mogate for a second. This is not bad. I'm leaving her out to try her again. That's not bad at all, is it? <laughs> All right, let's tuck that back in. I'm not, I'm not mad at it. It's just, it's, I'm very freckly. Okay. Take a little of the excess product off. And just lightly There. It's a little, it's a little less noticeable. It's not much, but it's a little. And just blend out the edges of that so it's not so noticeable. Okay, we'll cover it with powder in just a second anyway. All right, so there's that. Okay, so far, I like the eye primer. I love the illuminizer. And the under eyes aren't too bad. Not too bad. All right, let's get some powder. I don't have any new powders at all. So let's do, um, let's just get some powder on real quick. I'm going to do the Pat McGrath under eye for um, under the eye. I don't know that it's creasing much, y'all. How interesting.
Okay, we'll set that. I'm not going to necessarily set my lids because I'm using some other stuff on top. And then let's get... I don't want to lose all of the glow, but I do want to get just a little bit of coverage on my cheeks. This is the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define like powder foundation. It's in P1. But I want to cover some of this. We'll get my nose. And my cheeks especially. Hmm. Alright, we'll go a little bit up here now. I just like, I like the glow that's really pretty. I mean, it, it is really pretty, but I want to be able to blend on top of it too. We'll leave the center of my forehead kind of there. It's not a whole lot. I didn't go, I didn't go ham. I mean, it's a powder foundation. I could go ham, but I'm not. So that looks okay. All right, let's, let's try a new thing for brows. This I know came in a box. This is the Billion Dollar Brows Universal Brow Pencil. And I don't see a shade. It seems to be a brown color. Can you see that? It's a brown color. And it's got spoolie on one end. Let's see what we got going on here with this brow pencil. Oh, it's very creamy. Since I've gotten that makeup, that milk makeup Kush fiber brow gel, I have not picked up a brow pencil, which is nice because it's so super fast. That's not a bad color. It's very creamy. So you don't need a whole lot. Like very creamy. Not bad. Um, it's okay. I mean, I, the spoolie's pretty good, but uh, I mean, it's all right. I'm gonna grab the uh, Benefit Gimme Brow real quick. I don't have the brow gel that I want to try, so I'm just gonna real quick do this over it. This is on its last legs. Okay, not much. And then I want to use, I have not used something like this in a long time. This is the Wet n Wild Ultimate Brow Highlighter. And I want to like do the under, I have not done this in years. I'm going to draw a line underneath my brow. And then I'm, I just use my finger sometimes. Sometimes I use a little synthetic flat shader brush to pull it down, but I'm gonna do that. I don't know why I feel like doing that today, but I do. I had one, I've used up a couple of these over the years. Um, I know Emily Noel uses this in her waterline. I think like nude or light color white or, you know, pinky light colors in my waterline uh, do not do my face a service. So I don't use it that way because I don't like the way it looks. But I just tap that in. It's a little bit of a brow highlight. There you go. <laughs> Something different today. We're doing different today. Okay. Let's do some powder face color. I'm going to use that Kevin Aqua Neo Bronzer in Dusk Medium. This was, and I'm going to kind of swirl my brush. It goes from um, like a darker matte to a shimmery color. Again, this is the Dusk Medium one. I, I got this in the Sephora sales section. I think it was like $20, something like that. And I wanted to try it. I don't have any Kevin Aquan um, bronzer products or anything like that. Like, um, I know contour powders are really popular because uh, they're very kind of gray or whatever. I don't contour like that. So I don't, I mean, I could try it, but that's, I'm not drawn to that, but a bronzer I am. So there's that, that's really pretty. I'll blend in just a second. So there's that. I didn't really have a, I don't have a new blush. So I'm gonna grab a, an older blush. It's not old at all, but it's oldish. This is the Hello Kitty um, ColourPop in Bundled Up. It's just a little, it's got like, it's a little P1 
peachy pink moment. We'll put it kind of high up. And then we'll blend that out. And then I did, I, I know I talked about my backup products and uh, I talked about Opal and how it's, it is, it can be a highlighter on me. It's a little bit dark. I'm going to use her today and show you. Um, this is my, this is the worn out, sad little baby one. Um, she's the one I travel with. There is, you can't tell, but there is a dip like nobody's business in this bad boy. Um, so let's, let me show you Opal for on me as a highlighter. I mean, it's stunning. It is gorgeous. It is, it's just beautiful. I am glowing to the gods today, y'all. For real. I mean, look. Let me blend that. This is a beautiful product. It is so pretty as a, a lid shade, like just a natural, but super impactful shine. So pretty. The color is not... It's very flattering on my skin tone. It is so pretty. Okay, so there's the face there. What do we think? With this eyeshadow primer, if you aren't looking for much, this could be like just a one shadow kind of deal. And with that brow highlight, it, it I mean, there's a little bit of a gradient there. That's not bad, Leanne. You go ahead with your bad self. Um, that was not the intention, but there we go. Okay, let's spray, and I don't have a new spray. I don't have a new spray, but I do have some that I haven't used in a while, so let's use one that we haven't used in a hot minute, and one that will make us dewy, I think. This is the Tarte Ready Set Radiant. I think. Oh, that's a lovely smell. I've had this forever. And I've used one up before. Um, like when it, I think when it first came out. And this one, I know came in a box. I didn't spray very much. Because I'm already radiant. But that's pretty. Oh, that's so pretty. We've got a beautiful glow today, y'all. We look beautifully glowy. That skin balm was disappointing as far as coverage, but we've made up for it with other things, and now we look pretty. Okay, so let's see. More new products. Okay, these two came in separate boxes, but we're going to try them today because I haven't tried them yet. So y'all may or may not know I'm using a new eyeshadow palette every day um, that I do my makeup, and this week has been almost no makeup. It's just been an interesting week. So palette parade will be short and sweet this week, but I wanted to go ahead since this, this week was already palette not heavy. I was going to go ahead and use these two because I haven't used them yet. So this is the About Face Fluid Eye Paint. It is a matte shade and it is in the shade Jesus Take the Wheel Cloned. It's the world's tiniest writing. You can even see it. It's like teeny, right? Ridiculous. Anyway, cloned. It is a beautiful, this is some famous person's brand. I don't know who it is. Um, it's a, it's a matte eyeshadow. This thing is like that NARS packaging. This bad boy looks like nail polish. She's not. This is the Eloise, don't know, don't, don't have a name on it. Oh, it's just pure gold. But it's a, it's, it's an eyeshadow. It looks gorgeous. I picked the wrong color of top to wear today. But we're going to do this anyway. So I think I'm going to start with the matte. I don't know how much of this to use, y'all. I have no idea. Should I just? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Okay, do we need like a small brush? Probably, Leanne, because you're probably about to smear this everywhere into places you don't want. Okay, let's get a small brush on the ready. And then let's see what we can do. I don't know. Okay. Should I just, I'm going to take a little bit off and see how we go. Yeah, she's dark. Yeah, she's dark. I got like just the smallest amount here. Okay. And then let's take a bigger, like a, like the one we used to blend out the eye primer. And let's get this. Blended a bit. You do not need much of this bad boy, do you? 
Oh gosh, that's fast and pretty. Ooh. Wow. I would not smear this directly from this onto my eye because it is too pigmented. I would get way too much product, you know, like, like way too much product. Gosh, that's pretty though. I don't have a lot of matte cream eye products. I don't really use things like this. I mean, I should look at that. <laughs> I should. That is gorgeous. But it mostly, I mean, the ones that I use are the, like the shimmery, glittery, you know, all those. The Stila kind, but also the Wet n Wild and all that. That is stunning. Holy Moses. And I think I'm going to do... Who am I? I don't even know. I just took what was left on the brush. Oh my gosh. What in the heck? Did anybody else get one of these in their boxes? I don't know when, this is probably a while back. It's just been sitting here waiting for me to try it because I haven't. I mean, that is a, I mean, I would stop there. That's beautiful. That is beautiful. Oh my gosh. Okay. Cloned. Lovely. Who knew? All right. And let's just go for broke here. Let's gild this lily. Eloise, whatever it is, in pure gold. This has some small glitters and some bigger glitters. Also, this is beautiful. That is absolutely gorgeous. Oh my gosh. So I'm starting with a, like some on my mobile lid and just getting kind of a base down, I guess, of it. And then I'll go back with one more in my inner corner that is on top. I don't know how, to, how else to describe it. I need like, this is like one layer and that's beautiful. But it gets prettier if you put a little bit more on top of that. Like right in the inner corner and then go out from there. Oh my goodness, that's so pretty, y'all. That is gorgeous. Again, wrong color top, but who cares? The brush I used for this entire thing was some little cheapy brush, lavish eye shading. It's like little, <laughs> that was perfect for all of it. <laughs> so there's that. Y'all, how pretty are we? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I kind of want a little bit of something else in the inner corner. Do we want to do something? Do we want to make it crazy? Let's make it crazy. This is the Danessa Myricks 
Twin Flames Multi-Chrome Pigment in Forever. This bad boy is beautiful. This came in my Beautylish Lucky Bag this year. And we're just going to, we're going to put it in the inner corner and let this multi-chrome be stunning. It is beautiful. And these things are difficult to see in, in on camera. Like it's just flashing all sorts of delish, delicious colors. Like it's just beautiful. I am so pretty today. Okay, this did not start out well with the old steel bomb, but we have gotten gorgeous, darling. So I thought maybe I'd use a black liner. I've got and uh, one from Il Maquillage. This is this that brand that has like all of the foundation videos that you that I see anyway. Okay, it doesn't shake. Okay, this is their ink liner in black. I don't want much. I just want a little line. Just a little thin line. That's not bad. I like to lay mine on my side, on the side, and do that. That's not bad. There's that. Okay, cool. There's that. All right, let's do lashes. Gosh, I'm pretty. I don't know. I don't even. I was not expecting to look this gorgeous today. Do I want to try new mascara? Let's see what we got in the mascara drawer over here. Oh, this one I do want to try. Yes. Okay. This one's also all over my news feed. This is the Wet n Wild Big Pop Up Mascara. Sorry, I have to curl my lashes because they're snuffled up because. So this bye bye limp lashes. Okay. Okay. It is quite large, darling. Nothing spectacular. Nothing that I would call Big Papa. Definitely not instant impact like L'Oreal Telescopic Waterproof or 
Essence Lash Princess. Both of those are pretty instant impact for me. Like one coat, I'm like, that's pretty. This is not that. Brush is not too big. Brush isn't that bad. I've got a little bit down underneath, but let's try another pass here. See if it builds on itself really well. Some mascaras, the first pass is just the base, and then we get you know more and more impact as we as we go here. I'd say that might be the case with this one. I may try even a third coat. Jeez Louise, we'll be here all day doing mascara. This one I would, I'm, I'm already feeling that I would over L'Oreal Telescopic. This one might be really, really good. Um, maybe even combined with the Trestique mascara, the Guillotine mascara. This one might be good. But I always, when I try a new mascara, I always wear it by itself first because I want to see what she can do before I start combining. We are, we are mascara ho show. I got a little cleanup to do down here. But all in all, not bad. And with that big of a bristly brush, I didn't smear it everywhere. Like I didn't get it all over. It's not up on my lids or anything, which is nice. That's nice. That's not too bad. There's that. Okay. I've got a couple of. Some of this, this is old, but I've got a couple of new products. So this is the Real Her Lip Liner. I am, I guess the shade is I Am Confident. It's like a nude, like a darker nude. Yeah, that's a darker nude. I don't overline anything, y'all. If you do more power to you. Okay. So that's that. This is, I don't even know. I don't know how old this is. This is the ColourPop and Bretman Rock Ultra Satin Lip in She Cute. It's like a peachy. Hmm. Hmm. I don't think I like this color. I don't. This is too orange for me. Nope. That's too orange. Let's get her off. I like oranges, don't get me wrong. Like tangerine, you know, like neon orange. I do not like, I don't like this color. I don't, it's, it's like peachy orangey. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Do not like. Mm -mm -mm. Lip liner wasn't bad. Mm -mm. No man. That is not for me. Okay. All right, what we're going to use is that. Here's an ultra glossy lip from ColourPop. This is in Rattler. 
hate these brushes, don't you? I like this formula. I do not like the brush. That's prettier. Maybe the taupe collection. I think maybe. I think the taupe collection that that came out. This is not a bad lip liner. I'm. I don't want to knock that. The real her one's not bad. I, I like that nude a lot better. That's much nicer than. That Bretman Rock one. That's a no from me, dog. I think that came in a box too. I don't know. Okay, there she is. What do we think? Okay, a couple things that I'm very excited to use again. Um, this concealer, oddly enough. <laughs> where has she been? She's been sitting over there, and that's beautiful. I, that's so pretty. That concealer is a definite try again faux show. The, I mean, the brow pencil was fine. The illuminator was stunning. And I'm going to use that uh, until that little full packet is gone. And then I might go digging in my drawers to see if I have any kind of liquid illuminator because I'm all about this glow. It's beautiful. Um, we'll have to see how this plays with other foundations. This was not a great foundation day for me with that balm from Stila. Uh, but that's, you know, that's a thing. Holy smokes, both of these. Holy smokes, but in different ways. But holy smokes, I am stunning today. I have never, I never, they just been sitting here waiting and I have been sleeping on them. Look at this. Uh, mascara is okay. I think we're going to try her with a couple of different combos to see how she goes. I think it looks good. I think, I think I'm having a beautiful makeup day. I'm so glad you joined me for this. This one's really long today, but that's okay. We had a good time. I'm so glad that you joined me. Um, palette parade's going to come up next. It's going to be super short. So, uh, stay tuned for that. Y'all have a wonderful weekend this weekend. Uh, thank you so much. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you liked me, go ahead and hit subscribe and let's hang out some more. Y'all have a great rest of your day. Bye.